Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's time to see who mocked it up. First thing we have here, part five of our investigating sim racing incidents and crashes where we judge, but we don't judge, but we're also very judgmental. Throughout this video, I want you to pause, give me your opinion, leave a little timestamp as well. I've been seeing on the past few videos, some people have said I was wrong. So a lot of cases, yeah, I probably was wrong. Some cases was actually a matter of opinion. It, it more so comes down to etiquette. That's something I noticed about these videos is that sometimes it's not who's right or wrong, but it's like, okay, some people would say that's perfectly legal to do in racing. But then on the other side, it's like, okay, it's legal, but would you actually do that? Would you actually pinch someone to the inside of a corner and then you get hit by them and then you would cry? Anywho, leave your opinions below. I like it. We'll have a little fight down there, but it's not like a fight fight like we hate each other. Just like a little fight, like, you know, we're having a drink. I mean, like, you know what? You're wrong. You know, one of those stuff. This guy wants to know, am I the one in the wrong? Mathematic. That's a cool name of that guy in front. Here we're on road, Atlanta. This car has gone off track. Unsafe rejoin. He already has bad karma. This is interesting because this is messy as all you know what. Oh, there's another clip. Uh oh, little blue arrows very close behind rear end. Okay. Let's talk. So, <laughs> usually I say it in like a really good one, but like, come here, pause the video, get down there, let me know what you think, and then come back up. My man, huh? Road Atlanta, first of all, looks amazing on Gran Turismo, so really cool. We're going to do this like a tally system. So my my right hand, which is my left hand, but I'll say my right hand here, the hand on the right is the Porsche. The one on the your left is the POV car. We're going to see how many times they're in the wrong. So, okay. One mess up from him. He went for a gap that wasn't there. Porsche again. Rejoin. No, okay. Everything's okay here. Or does something happen here? And if I'm remembering right. No. <laughs> it's a draw. <laughs> I'm gonna say they're good enough as each other. They're as bad as each other about them. Look at this, like, you know, he's coming in hot. All right, poor rejoin. Should've let him by. Doesn't. Okay, this corner here, if you've ever driven on road Atlanta, there's only room for one car here. This car's ahead. It's just the way it is. Because it's it, it looks like it's easy to take it too wide. It's not. It's really not. And. Even if you could, any good racer knows. You just tuck in behind here, follow them through. You definitely don't pass in this section here. There is no pass here on the inside or the outside. That was always going to happen because this guy needs to bang over a little bit. I'm going to say they're as good as each other. I want you to let me know if you have any other opinions below. This one's called Eye Racing Incident. No volume. Why do I have a feeling it's going to be like World Star or something? Ooh, this is a very tight corner to be doing that on. Hmm, yeah, it, you know, for me personally, like this car, first off, he sent that from a different postcode because this is like a very weird corner. There's a corner like this on Virginia before you go up the super long swervy straight. There's two right handers. Well, on the left-hander before the two right-handers, if you know what I'm talking about, I'm not going to get too into it, but it's like this corner here. It's like, oh, look, he left the inside open. But there's a reason why the inside was left open, because it is a super tight corner. And if you're going to jump up this inside, you have to realize that there's only one way you can kind of take this corner. It's really tight. So if you're going to put yourself in this situation, you have to expect you're going to have a super tight exit. You know, he should have been lifting more, braking more into first gear. I know it's annoying, but he should have been had his left wheels almost on this curb. Where was he looking to go, you know what I mean? I say it's this car, because he easily could have followed behind. 
This car, unfortunately, did everything. He did everything okay. Car on the left. He left the car with the whole time. The entire time. So this car could have been actually over here. And he would have got the job done. Yeah, no. It's that car there. This one's called... Who's at fault? Look at the radar. What is this? <laughs> Look at the radar. <laughs> is that it? I think everyone's at fault there. Look at the radar. Uh, do you know what's really funny about the radar? It's like, look. <laughs> this just has a little story. <laughs> Let's see that again. Look. Where is it? Ow. <laughs> hmm. I don't think it's your fault, buddy. He went on the grass, and in point zero 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 one of a second, he moved over a meter, a meter and a half. Yeah. I think the actual, the technical term for that is, this car got yeeted. This one's interesting. It says it doesn't involve me, but there was a lot of fighting about this. Whatever this sim is, these cars are so cool. Oh, wow. That's like being in a road race and then you're running and then you just stand on someone's ankle next to you. If that's what that was like, except this is obviously cars standing on someone's ankle. Now, he was turning in a little bit here. This car maybe thought he had a bit more space on the right if he was blind. Yeah, that's messy. That is very messy. I think it's that Porsche, that Porsche. Let's just go back and check that he have space. Yes, he had a lot of space. What I'm going to say happened is this Porsche assumed that the pass was actually done and he was starting to move out to the right to get a really nice exit because a lot of these cars are on the outside. So I assume that's where the nice exit is. It's not very obvious where this track is. So it's the Porsche, unfortunately. GT4s collide. Who's at fault? Hmm. Any replays? No. Okay, so. Kind of try to do a process of elimination here. Who's, who's right, first of all? As opposed to who's wrong. Like... Did this car really leave enough space? I'm I'm gonna say no, but there's a good reason why not. I think he thought he was gonna outbreak. Now the thing is, right about now, there is no call for car on your left, and right now, car on your left. You know. Unless it was a mega dive bomb. Yes, it's an opportunistic move from blue, but I'm going to say a racing incident. It's just just a shit one all around. He tried to close the door, but not fully. So left it kind of open, making this car think it was going to happen. But he didn't really leave a door wide enough open. Let's check out where this car is pointing. Now, if we look at this car, though. Does it look like he's going to make the apex? Maybe when he gets closer, he's going to turn in. Buff. I think it's a shame. I think it's one of those things where both cars were on the limit of turning. They touched off each other and they just, the inertia took them away. Hence why they spun in the same direction. So both cars race an incident. Let me know below if you think that's different as well. Here's a good one. Who's actually at fault for this? This kind of, oh Jesus. Who braked for no reason? P2 pulls over for some bizarre reason. It's a it's a it's a toss up between these two. This guy shouldn't have slowed down. This guy could have left more space. And this guy could have left more space. This guy, you know, they're still crashing here. 
the voice reactions. Yeah, that's just really messy, to be honest. It's just a mess. Uh, that's like in traffic, you know. It all comes down, if it, maybe if a bit more space was left, it would have been okay, but hey. Who knows? Okay, so for the last one, I'm the dark car. Did they see me or not? Funnily enough, earlier on when I mentioned Virginia, not this corner, it's the next one coming. We'll watch it all first, sorry. There, they rewind for us. I had no idea that was the slow-mo button. Brilliant. Mm, that car's ahead. And using all the... They're, they're, they're really over on their side. Like, look how much space this car has. I know, realistically, you don't use past here, but still. No, that car just drove into that car. Because if it wasn't for them... No, 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 no. Yeah, he was coming off the curb a little bit, so he was moving over, but... He should have seen it, you know. More than enough space, because you can drive here in the Mazdas, and you should. That's where the speed is, so... There was no reason to keep it that personal, keep it that tight. I say the blue car, but let me know down below. Go on, we'll do one more. Oh, that's just straight up murder. The bonus one, go on. Hmm... Oh, why did I make the last one the last one? Sorry, here. Haha. <laughs> he comes down the inside into Sunset Corner. Overshoots his brakes. Overcooks him. That car on the left could have moved left a little bit. That all happened so fast. I think it's just the dive bomb gone wrong. Yep, that's my thing. Please let me know what you think about that one, though, because I'm not sure if this car should have stayed more left, but... I think either way this car was going to get hit so that's it for today part five let me know if you guys want a part six people seem to really like this so um for the one or two people that really do like them i'll make more for you and uh yeah don't forget to leave a like subscribe all that good stuff thanks very much for watching guys happy hunting